Yeah, I think that was him. Well, uh, what are you doing there, Mr. Attorney from the Marvel Universe? <laughs> we got butt. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Where's your okay, next? Okay, now we're off to Bodstro. How many worlds are there in total? How many worlds were Pretty there? Pretty much every, every world. The only world that doesn't make a return in this game is Tarzan, the deep jungle. Aww. It's replaced by one other world, though. It w we'll get into that one later. But, uh, yeah, I think it has something to do with licenses and rights and stuff like that. I think it was just because of Edgar Allan Burroughs got pissed off at Disney. It's something uh, something of the sort. I, uh, I, don't, I think he's dead, too. Like, I don't remember the full details, but I know there was a falling out between Touchstone or with Tarzan or the creator either the intellectual property of Tarzan and Disney, and then it just went, fuck it, we're not doing that again. Hey, look! Firewood! <laughs> this is a bad interpretation of... <laughs> What's your of name, the... Flame Bait? <laughs> 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 this is a bad interpretation of, a, of the inside of a whale. Those aren't purple. Elliot, how many whales have you been inside? That depends. <laughs> I'm not talking fact checks, I'm talking whales. <laughs> I don't know where to follow up with this. <laughs> it's still a weird... Wait, here's the thing, thing now. Jiminy remembers this shit, but Jiminy's been with us, so Jiminy shouldn't have any recollection of this, but he does. Chain of memories, Matt. Inconsistency. Nomura. No, just, just inconsistency. Just inconsistency in general. A Nomura trademark. <laughs> a subsidiary of Nomura Productions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Bought by Touchstone. Maybe, maybe it's different for Jimny because Pinocchio is one of his most cherished memories. Well, well, well yeah, you're right, I suppose. No, because this world isn't a fa this world isn't Jimny's world. It's a fabrication of our memories. But it's but it's a fabrication that belongs to a world that Jimny is a part of. Nah, I don't buy that. Well, I'm just I'm just bringing it up for the sake of discussion. I mean, I guess, I guess maybe that's legit. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, it's not like we ever go I mean, to the town that Pinocchio hails from, or Geppetto's. I mean, as village. maybe if we, if they were in the town, then maybe. By the way, what town was that again? I don't remember the name. Of it. I only watched the movie like once. It's, uh, same here. The yellow nocturnes. If you can win the, the yellow monsters, I don't remember the fucking musical name they are. Anyway, if you manage to kill them, you can get thunder boost for an enemy card. The large bodies give you something called frontal guard, which basically um, makes you immortal to all frontal attacks. I forget what the air soldiers give you though. Red Nocturne, Blue Rhapsody, Yellow, well, Green Requiem, Green Opera. And, no, Green Requiem. No, I thought Green was Opera. No, I'm pretty sure Green was Requiem. No, I think Yellow was Requiem. Green was Opera. <laughs> Internet, go! <laughs> yellow, Yellow Overture. Yellow what? Yellow yellow concerto. Yellow waltz. Yellow treble. Yellow bass. Yellow bass? No. The black slap bass. <laughs> the orange Seinfeld theme. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do a good bass. And today's calm bounty is... As soon as Johnny ever goes to fucking hints it. Red Nocturnes, Blue Rhapsodies, Yellow Operas, and Green Requiems. I was right. Oh, well, fuck me one. No, we're I was just Matt, playing the game recently. No, Matt, we're straight. We're okay. I don't There's know. The, uh, the like, final yeah, mix. Yeah, you like incest. I forgot. The final mix exclusives, uh, Black Ballad. Yeah. And um, there's others, but that's going into Kingdom Hearts 2 and above. So. Fire Raid. Basically, one fire spell, two Keyblades, and you get to throw your Keyblade for fire damage. Not bad, though, considering the damage is pretty good in this game. If you're able to position it correctly in the Game Boy Advance version, you can get a lot of hits. I think that's for a particular raid, like, um, like, uh, Judgment Raid or, uh, Reflect Raid, basically. Johnny ooh, takes ooh. a strong initiative as he goes into the next door. Yeah, the only difference between, like, Blizzard and Fire Raid is just the elemental property, that's all. It's Which the exact same difference when you think of it. But it's only, it's, it, it, the attack animation is still the same, though. So wait, do you think we'll run into Riku in this? Nope, not yet. Well, in this world? Yeah, these fucking things. Not, I hate those fucking wind Not the barrel particles. spiders, the things right here. If these things I... manage to touch you, not only do they confuse you, they take away Moogle points. Damn! My balls! Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, grab my balls! 
<laughs> I don't think so, sir. <laughs> I'll take things that sound wrong out of context with 300, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's a daily fucking double. Anyway, why search you, ghosts. Wait, why do you keep doing that when you're when you're bring when you're summoning? You because mean? you can this way you can actually you can, this way you can preserve your cloud cards. Yeah, wh wh every, the first card you use in a slight disappears after you use it. So I usually reserve that for friend cards. If you use cards that are two or more, if you're going to use one of those three power cards, one of them's got to go the way of the Dota. Pretty much. Unless, yeah. unless, unless you have, like, At least until uh, Johnny gets an elixir or Yeah, unless you get the, uh, the item restore of cards. Right. We got premium room. Yeah. Premium cards I've been coming into... I've been falling in love with since I, since I decided to play this game again myself. I know if you... If you know exactly how to use the cards just right, premium cards could be the make-or-break thing for you. Premium... premium I just don't use... like the whole one-and-done aspect of them. No, because here's the thing, though. You can use premium cards in the middle of a slate as well, and they will get reloaded if you do it that way. I just found that out myself. So you can put the premiums in your... In your you can deck. put the premium in the middle. Like, for example, let's say you got a premium card uh, Fire 4. Oh, if you have a if you have a slight of five, four, and six, and the four was the premium card, the four gets saved, even though that goes against the rules of the premium card. No, the premium card only works if you play it. It only gets one and done if you like use it right up front, just like an attack. Right. If you use it in the middle of a slate or the end of a slate, you'll get it back when you reload. I'll keep that in mind for uh, future recording sessions. Or if you want, you can experiment with it just as soon as you get off of this, you know? Just take a premium card, fuck with it for a bit. I know what I'm saying, but there's a lot of times... What, what you guys are not seeing here when we're recording, well, no, what I'm recording, is that a lot of experimentation and back and forth in previous worlds. Either because I'm trying to build up Moogle points, experience in general, or I'm looking for a specific enemy card. And with the case of the Barrel Spider, those who follow me on Facebook would know I spent two hours looking for that fucking son of a bitch. While well, looking for a cloud card. Yeah, I end up getting both. Oh, I was close to getting up. Oh, that's another thing that I, I knew I was one thing I wanted to bring up. There's one thing I absolutely cannot stand about Chain of Memories in general, is that if you break a, a breakable object and a card comes out of it, if you run into a Heartless before you lose Magic the, you it, lose the card. you lose the card. I was on the, at, the verge of getting a third Cloud card on my way out of the Olympus Coliseum. Early access to Omni Slash, that's what I wanted to get. And I fucking run into a Heartless right before I was able to get the son of a bitch. Did you at least get its enemy card? No. What a fucking waste. Damn. I hate that. You see, like, that card bouncing right there? If you get into a, run into a Heartless, that card's gone. Yeah, I know. That was a problem in the original one, too. Way to be faithful there, Namar. No oh. No hentai. Oh, fire. I, I used fire myself a lot in the early game, but now that I have Thunder and Blizzard magic, I just got rid of fire. I find Blizzard more reliable. Blizzard's helpful to an extent. I just like how fire homes. Fire, yeah, it does have homing, but its its hitbox isn't, isn't as big. No, fire is pretty much a one hit, one target, but it does hurt well. Well, no, I should. I'm more accurate talking about Blazaga compared to Firaga. Blazaga's only problem is that it doesn't even. Blazaga also doesn't really have much of an aerial movement. So basically, if you you have to jump to hit higher up enemies. Ouch! Cheese. Here's looking at you. <laughs> Say cheese and die. A goosebump book. Yes. Oh yeah. I think that's what I was thinking about, actually. <laughs> I haven't read, read Goosebumps in years. Those things will poison you. The subconscious. Why not just pop the uh, inner pimples of the whale? The, the, no, these are the internal, the internal pimples. Ulcers. Yeah. Yes. Gross. Hey, a nine, but it's a kingdom king. No. <laughs> the only good thing about the kingdom key later on is that it's cheap. Yeah, that's the only thing it has going for it now. It is it's cheap. Which means it's an impromptu zero card if you won't really care about zeros for their attacks. It's uh, true enough. I think at this point, uh, this recording, my deck already has like two zero cards, and they're both Kingdom Keys. Mm. So, yeah, they're very economical in that aspect. Now you need a combination of 20. And unless I'm going for a specific slate, I never use zero cards in a combination. They're strictly combo breakers. And Johnny contemplates, do I want to use all those? Which one is important to me? <laughs> Honestly, I was at a point, one point in my game where I just started getting ready to call them bounty cards because I was sick of them. You do get a lot of them. I know, but they're only good for like the first room you go in and then that's it. As it out, it's Blizzard. Fire. I try I try to make at least one room uh, in every world a combine room just to see what you can get in that specific world. Right. Like I would do in this game, I think in here you get gravity. 
Man, this whale's fucked up. <laughs> it has wood everywhere. I think there's a splinter. No wonder why it's pissed. And its mouth is directly behind its bowels. <laughs> How about that shit? God doesn't exist, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Nobody wanted me. I have to have a puppet for a son and a cricket for its conscience. And now I exiled myself in this whale. There is no God. And then I got eaten by a whale of all things. <laughs> I mean, fucking really. What are the odds of that? <laughs> a giant interdimensional space whale ate me and my damn puppet. Well, Geppetto, if I were to alliterate... And my pants are too tight. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, kid, these things really ride up there! But your socks- I constantly reach for that wedgie, but it doesn't come out! But your socks complement the pants. Ah, uh, big fucking deal, it don't mean nothing when my balls are riding so goddamn high up, I'm surprised they're not cheap and blue! But what about your glasses? Don't you need bigger ones? Ah, uh, the glasses are really kind of a small problem at this point. So you're just focused on the balls chafing on your front? Wouldn't you? That hurts! Well... And after all that pointless banner, we got the key to guidance. And, and high jump for some odd reason. Yeah, high jump for some odd It's new to reach hand memories. They give you abilities you had in Kingdom Hearts 1. Which yeah. is good enough some aspects when they give you glide and super glide. Yeah. But high jump, you really don't need that. Well, you need high jump and then super glide when you get the 100 acre wood to get the spellbinder key. But that's all reach hand memory stuff, though. Yeah. He just wanted to... Why didn't you give it high five? He almost fucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to get five. Well, technically one. Hundred Moogle Balls. <laughs> I would like to point out that what aside from Johnny, like whenever I leave a world, I'm like ten levels or five or ten levels higher because I just kill everything. I do for the most part, and I dread. I'm, I'm thinking about it now. It's like, I wonder how long would this playthrough been if we went live? Seven hundred parts. Yeah, I was like, I would, well, that's an exaggeration, obviously, but compared to a Kingdom Hearts 1, where we didn't really edit out a lot of battles, we edited out, like, backtracking and stuff like that, but that was still 60 parts. Yeah. And Chain of Memories. And wait till, cha wait till Kingdom Hearts 2, because I'm I going know. after everything, and one of them requires me to get Sora up to 99. Oh, 2 Christ. is going to be a marathon. Especially with Final Mix, because I have... Because unlike vanilla Kingdom Hearts 2, which I am relatively well versed in, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix is practically a whole new fucking game. Yeah. Christ. I, I've like I, I looked at the, the version differences and changes like on, on wikis and stuff like that. And I was like, this is completely different. It is. But they the terror's gonna whip my fucking ass. They added so many things for Final, like for the two Final Mix in particular, got a lot more changes than what one Final Mix got. All the abilities are reorganized. All the um. There's new Heartless items, new organization weapons. Hell, there's even some new Heartless in the later game, and you just got whips done. Yeah, they also confuse you when they hit you, hence the question marks on top of your head. Your controls are reversed when that happens. I just thought they gave Sora a really hard math question. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple choice, this ain't. Name the three types of triangles. Uh, 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 uh. Isosceles. 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 <laughs> nah, I was pretending I was Sora. <laughs> There's the isosceles, the right triangle, and the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I Name the three triangles. Okay, uh, Triforce of Power, <laughs> Courage, and Wisdom. I wonder if anyone's ever gotten away with that. I tried it once on a math quiz when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> really? I was in fourth grade. I was still new to geometry. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Um, well, I'm in pre-calculus when we're, when we're, when we're learning about trigonometry. That's what kind of, that's trigonometry what is. At 12th grade? Dude, yeah. Je Jeannie had it at 12th grade, too. Me and you learned it at 11th grade, though. No, we didn't. We had that core plus shit, which was three years of fucking algebra. Oh, no, 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 wait. It was 11th grade when me and you actually started splitting up in math classes. Actually, no, I it was 12th. You remember Logan? No, it was 12th. I'm pretty sure it was 11th grade. 11th grade, we all had Stith. Stith? Yeah, S-T-I-T-H. He was the short, he was the younger white guy who kind of reminded me of John Arbuckle. <laughs> 